Well, we are told that the uh, victims are all members of the same family. Now, as you mentioned, those three children who were critically wounded were brought here to Comer Children's Hospital. Some of them did go into surgery, but their condition at this hour is still unknown. This as the investigation continues, family members trying to wrap their head around that. Matter of fact, we talked to the son of one of the victims. Keep your mind wrapped around the right things, block off all the negativity, and just come back harder the next time. Pretty much how I was able to see everything now. A 19 year old Frank Mixon talks about how he's coping with the sudden loss of his mother, Nikisha Strong, after gunmen opened fire on the family home, killing her and his adult cousin, Capri Edwards, while critically wounding three of his younger relatives. His mom would have wanted him to continue to play basketball, not going to allow him to uh, now shut down and and do something different. This afternoon, as Mixon gets plenty of support from his high school coaches as he prepares to head to college on a basketball scholarship, the investigation continues into the violence that has devastated his family. This senseless violence has to stop. You know, personal conflict and guns is a, it's become a bad combination. and. You know, the summer's just getting started. The attack happened earlier today around 6.15 in the morning in the city's Grand Crossing neighborhood. That's when neighbors say they heard a barrage of gunfire. All I seen was two people jumping off the porch. After I heard the shots, I was looking out the window. Thought it was fireworks. Investigators say several ski mask clad gunmen opened fire on the house in the 7100 block of South Woodlawn, adding that the attack was targeted and stems from an earlier incident. Investigation reveals that two vehicles pulled up into the area, multiple subjects exited those vehicles and fired at this residence. Relatives say two of Edward's children, a five-year-old and a seven-year-old, were critically wounded. Family members say the mom shielded her one-year-old from the danger. That child is reportedly unharmed. The kid's eight-year-old cousin was also critically wounded. This as the community struggles to come together to stop the killing. We have to work together to stop this. We can't, we can't break, you know, fall apart. Now, police haven't said what that personal matter was that caused the disruption or the dispute in the first place. In the meantime, uh, family members have been here at the hospital going back to the home, trying to get personal items, trying to, as again, as I mentioned, wrap their head around what has happened. This as detectives say that they have managed to recover show casings from the scene. Some of those showcases belonging to a handgun, others belonging to a rifle. Now, they're also going to be using video surveillance from the area, trying to locate uh, those cars, hence hopefully get to the individuals responsible for this horrific crime. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.